Welcome back to another Tuesday tip. Um, today we're going to talk about um, this, this is a tip I do. I mean, you may or may not like to do it this way. It's totally up to you. This is this is just more of a preference thing. So, it has to do with when you're doing stuff like um, when you're going to do a fork. You're going to split something into a fork. Uh, there's a couple different things you can do. First off, I'm going to point it a little bit. It saves a lot of smashing later. Okay. Then I'm going to flatten it out a little. I don't want it too flat because when you go to make a fork uh, piece, um, you're going to want it to, uh, you don't want to make it too thin because then you, because you got to work it into a square and then round and all that. So I'm going to heat it up again. Okay, this is the main tip part. <clears throat> when you go, after you've flattened it down, and you're going to go ahead and split it, Now, I've seen it done two ways. They've split it all the way through. Just put a piece under that. Oops. And go ahead and split it all the way through. What happens is you'll end up with a whole lot of, of uh, rag to file out, clean up, or try to pound back into it. And if you don't chisel it first, you're just cutting away all that metal, so you're losing a lot of metal. And this is this is my tip. This is what I do. <clears throat> so. I think I lose too much material if I just saw it. Hacksaw, bandsaw. And I don't like a lot of rag. So by going most of the way through, see I didn't go all the way through, but by going most of the way through, I've pushed the metal away. So I've only got that real thin little part. And this is where I change things. This is where I change things up. So, you can either one of two ways. You can either hacksaw through it, because it's not very thick at this point. See? Halfway through. Or the other thing I do is I take I made this little board. All of this is just some screws in the top, and it really needs to have a piece of metal over it because the wood gives too much. And I didn't quite make it long enough, but it works. So as you can see, this is, by using the bandsaw, I didn't lose as much material. I only took out that little webbing that was in between, so I didn't lose a lot of material. Even though I kind of got off a little, I'm too close to this right here. Uh, but I was going fast for the video, so I was kind of hurrying. And I don't have a lot of rag in between, but I saved a lot of material. I didn't lose a whole lot of material doing that. So what would you use that for? Uh, your typical hot dog fork, <clears throat> split it, 
and then square it up, stretch it out. Of course, you'd go deeper than I went with that. I didn't quite go far enough. You'd have to go almost back into here somewhere. But it's going to stretch out some. And then I also do that for other items. Um, this is a, uh, a hanger I made for um, uh, a wall hanger. I actually had a set of them. Somebody bought one and didn't buy them both, but I'll set the screws. Of, um, and what I did is I wanted it to be kind of organic, so I split this just like a hot dog fork. But then I bent them up into curls and uh, made it more like a living piece and then this piece this scrolls so you can hang a plant or something from this and mount it to a wall and uh, anyway cleaned up it's getting a little rusty <clears throat> but um, but that's the kind of stuff you can use that for and that's just a quick tip for the day hope that was helpful and have a blessed day bye bye